you know, uh, Raj, you talked about betting on sectors where we are going to see disruption, uh, where we also need to sort of uh, bring in more organized uh, uh, sort of structures in place. Logistics is a classic example, uh, and a lot large part of the infrastructure story in India, waiting to see that kind of aggregation. Uh, but outside of that, because one of the big aims of the use of technology, especially in emerging markets like India, is financial inclusion. And that's something that you're betting on as well. Give me a sense of what you've been able to do and and what more you would like to do in the space of financial inclusion? You know, we're, we're just about to make our second fintech investment in the past year in India. The, the first one we made is in a payments company that uh, appears like a payments company. It's really a data company that's using payments as a way to gather data. They enable 400,000 small merchants across the country today to accept mobile payments, use that data then to give them small loans, access to capital, things that they can't get access to from the traditional banking sector. Um, the second investment we're doing is in a peer-to-peer -peer lending company that's based out of the US, but um, doing uh, uh, quite a bit of their operations in India. They're providing small commercial loans to, to small businesses. Um, India has a, a, a really vibrant, um, you know, non-banking financial mm -hmm. sector, and we think it's one of the most interesting areas for us to invest. That's largely an area that in the U.S. we're not focusing on because in the U.S. there is big banks and um, we don't see that opportunity. And then even in the underbanked in the U.S., you see you know companies like Square and Stripe and others have, have already built a market leadership position. India is very different. It's it's a wide open field and especially for small merchants mm -hmm. um, and small businesses, we think it's it's a place that there's a host of financial services that we want to provide. I know it's not exactly the consumer side, but we yeah. think enabling small merchants actually enables consumers mm -hmm. to be able to transact, to lend, um, and to be much more part of the formal economy.